undefeated, winners of 48 straight games and three consecutive state titles, the Urbana Hawks. This is who we wanted, and they have to! Now fighting out of the green and gold corner, the Screaming Eagles of Seneca Valley, with 11 state titles to their credit, with the most successful program in Maryland state history. Let's rumble, it was scoreless in the second quarter, when Urbana's Jeremy Fields plows his way into the end zone, Urbana grabs the game's first lead at 6-0, and they give their fans a lift. They held that lead into the second half, and the Screaming Eagles took flight literally. Chris Crosby steals and pass, hooks up with Brandon Chapman. Then moments later, on his second and 10 from the 38, Crosby looking, he's got DJ Chaney, and Chaney has a first down, Seneca all the way to the Urbana five. Two downs later, they were still at the five. Chris Crosby got everyone, including us, with the fake, and he becomes a do-it-yourselfer, tying the game up at six. The extra point would put him ahead. Unless it was blocked. No good. And the game entered the fourth quarter, tied at six. With just one minute, 37 seconds left, Urbana's Eric Glenn zooms in on a 50 yard field goal. It was good. What a shot. Urbana up 9 6. You thought it was over. You thought wrong. A minute and a half is a lifetime for Seneca. Crosby hits TJ Changuris. Urbana, hoping that their incredible defense can hold on to the lead. Things looked bad for Seneca when they were down to their last card. On a fourth and 20 from their own 21, Crosby deep to Brandon Chapman. Got him for 47 yards to the Urbana 32. That set up Marco Aldamonte to tie the game. They just got him from soccer. He doesn't speak much English. Was he good for 35 yards out? See, si, senor. The place went bonkers. We went to overtime. If you have a weak heart, you're in trouble. Each team gets a possession from the 10 yard line. Eric Yancey puts Seneca up 16 to nine. Would that spell trouble for the Hawks? Let's find out. On a second and goal from the eight, Joe Connor looking. He's got Billy Gaines. Gaines hangs on, gets in for the score. And we are headed for... Double overtime. Tied at 16, Urbana got the first possession of the second overtime. They needed all of one play. Jeremy Fields, 10 yard touchdown, 23, 16, Urbana. Seneca's turn. On a third and goal, Eric Gancy, great grab, tying it up at 23 and we're headed for... Triple overtime at Seneca Valley. Key moment, Urbana's defense held Seneca and they gave their offense a chance to win it. Brad Anderson, Gets them their 49th straight win and a ticket to Bird Stadium. It will go down in history as one incredible football game.